Hi, my name's Lee MacDonald. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at South Denver Cardiology. One of the other things that, that cardiology patients or car patients can often um, encounter is something called peripheral vascular disease. Peripheral vascular disease is a big, huge term that describes anybody that has blockages or plaque in any of the arteries anywhere other than the heart. As you can imagine, atherosclerosis um, is commonly a systemic uh, disease, meaning people who have plaques in the arteries of their heart can oftentimes have it in other places. One of the things um, that I often talk to patients about is leg cramping and what we call claudication. If you develop plaques or blockages in the leg arteries, it can lead to cramping or this claudication and it makes it difficult for people to get around. I ask people to do to exercise and to walk and when they tell me well I can't walk because my legs cramp that is definitely something worth discussing with your doctor or the doctors here at South Denver Cardiology. I think we've developed a very nice program to take care of people um, who have this. We have ways of testing to see if you have any signs of blockages and if it becomes to the point where we're concerned that we even can do procedures here. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists here that can do procedures where we sometimes can put in stents, use balloons, drug coated balloons, tech, all kinds of exciting technology to help improve the flow to people's legs and make it so that they're able to walk without cramping. Some of the other procedures that we do here, one of the other procedures that we do is uh, left atrial appendage occlusion. This is closing off or basically capping off a corner of your heart, the left atrial appendage, that can develop blood clots and cause strokes in patients with atrial fibrillation. There's one approved device in the United States at this time, the Watchman device. This is a, a therapy or a device that we are targeting for people who have trouble taking blood thinners, but they're also at risk from stroke from the atrial fibrillation. In this instance, the people can have this cap placed and then they don't need to be on blood thinners anymore in the future. It's an exciting, evolving area of cardiology um, that I think will be important for a lot of people who have atrial fibrillation.